Four cabinet secretaries and several principal uh, secretaries have uh, stepped down and in studio this evening is Professor Peter Kagwanja, a political analyst. Thank you very much for your time this evening. Let me begin with, um, is this the beginning of the fight against graft in the country or is the president reacting uh, to pressure that he's been playing lip service in the fight against corruption? Mm -hmm. I, I think the, I mean the, there has been investigation going on, uh, meaning that that's where the president has gotten his report. But this investigation has not been public. So what the president is doing uh, is to walk the talk that, yes, you said we have to deal with corruption, and the, here is the, the, the way out. Now, the other point he's making is that his government is not a PR government. It is a government of action. Uh, and I think he is also making the point that uh, corruption is not a collective responsibility. It is an individual responsibility. It is not a tribe on trial. It's not a community on trial. It is an individual on trial. Uh, the fourth point I think he is making is that uh, we have to end this witch hunting. If you are mentioned, step aside. That is not an indication that you are guilty. You are, you, you'll be, when you are charged and tried, and convicted, that's when you'll be guilty. And then action will be taken. Mm -hmm. So I, th I think this is a bold move. Uh, it is a decisive move. It, it doesn't appear to me like a PR exercise. It's a serious exercise. Mm -hmm. And let's talk about the EACC's list of shame um, and the fact that the Commission's integrity is now being questioned, as you've seen in our earlier reports. Mm -hmm. um, the fact that the report was, of course, confidential, mm -hmm. and of course, um, the fact that the Commission is seen and has been seen previously to have power games even within it. What are your thoughts on that? Uh, first and foremost, the, the Commission itself, from its uh, philosophical foundations, uh, is the is outside the execution. Uh, they, they, they can investigate, but at the same time, a commission, if you compare with what is happening in Britain, UK, for example, America, the body that investigates is within the government, within the, the security apparatus, the, 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 the law and order machinery. This is, I mean, slightly aside, and it was put there uh, in 2003 as part of the pressure by civil society. What has happened is that commissioners become themselves under pressure. Uh, from different bodies, uh, political interest, business interest, international cartels, they are all under that pressure. Mm -hmm. and, and therefore, the idea of, uh, you know, uh, people in power stepping aside to, is basically to enable uh, the body to, to do its work because, and it's an admission that it has, it would need some strengthening mm -hmm. in order to be able to deal uh, with this kind of matters without having, uh, be, uh, having to be intimidated mm -hmm. uh, by uh, special interests. Okay. Yeah. And I'll still um, remain with the EACC and of course uh, the Director of Public Prosecutions and the fact that um, they now have 60 days mm -hmm. uh, to conclude investigations under the law. Mm -hmm. uh, does the President have the power to give a 60-day directive and what are these 60 days anchored on? Well, the, it is, it's a question of the fact that he is the, ex the chief executive, executive. And as the chief of the executive of the company, you know your terrain very well. I think the president knows his terrain extremely well, that within uh, 60 days, and uh, he has indicated how uh, that's going to be done by calling upon the attorney general, uh, calling upon uh, the DPP, uh, to work in a coordinated fashion. And therefore, and making a very powerful argument in public that, you know, justice delayed, uh, delayed is justice denied. Mm -hmm. And therefore, for the justice of those who have been accused, if you are kept for too long without being tried, you are being crucified, lynched in public. Therefore, it is important for them to be either exculpated or, or, or committed, uh, as the case might be, uh, within a reasonable time. I think that's the, p the point he's and making. And the 60 days reasonable it, time it, in your, in it, your it, it is view. reasonable because already, already they are under investigation, okay. or they have been under investigation. Mm -hmm. Remember, this list was extracted from an ongoing process. It is not like uh, these people were got today. This, it, this case uh, scandals that have been going on. Mm -hmm. and, and I think the, it's reasonable. Uh, perhaps uh, even one month perhaps would have been reasonable if, the, the, and you remember there was a request that uh, the sitting is on a day-to-day -day basis, so there's no postponement of July next month and next year. Mm -hmm. And the list of uh, shame professor has 175 names mm -hmm. and pundits are arguing that um, there are obvious 
misses. I don't know how fair this is, uh, mm -hmm. but it has uh, been said in a lot of circles that there are obvious misses. What's your take on that? The, the take is that uh, the president did not make the list. The other take is that the uh, EACC did not make the list yesterday or when the president was uh, uh -huh. uh, make the state of the nation. Okay. The list is extracted from people mentioned from diverse uh, scandals from angry racing, uh -huh. uh, rand related scandals, the, the so called chicken gate uh, uh, scandal. It, it's a whole range of scandals where people have been mentioned. Uh -huh. Remember, in addition to what the president uh, uh, mentioned yesterday, there is there is already a group that is being tried on the basis of agro leasing. Uh -huh. and, and what has escaped the public is that long before the state of the nation was issued, uh -huh. the president had already taken place, I mean, a, a step. From mm -hmm. last year, from I think 2003, I mean to 2013 mm -hmm. through 2014, uh, there will have been collaboration with the international governments that are friendly to Kenya to basically dig deep into the agro leasing scandal. Right. I think the outstanding thing, Lydian, uh, uh, is whether all these scandals, particularly those ones that have international dimensions, are going to enable Kenya to repatriate, to get back the money limited back to the country to do what it was supposed to do mm -hmm. before it was either smuggled out mm -hmm. or involved in this scandal because okay. Kenya has lost a lot of resources mm -hmm. uh, to these cases. And just uh, as we wind up, Professor, um, I, I want to get your thoughts on the fact that um, there's been talk on this now opening ground for political witch hunt, um, particularly uh, regarding the names that have been listed and what um, allegiances they have in the political divide. Your views? I, I think, I think that's, that's likely to be seen because uh, political stalwarts are going to defend their, uh, their, their, their compatriots. Mm -hmm. It is expected in public. Mm -hmm. Somebody will say, don't use uh, you know, corruption for politics, don't do this. But what is going on is a very transparent process. Kenyans are with the president. I think what the president said, yes, if you are not going to adhere to what I'm saying, I commit you to the, to the, to the court of the sovereign mm -hmm. of the land. Mm -hmm. And the sovereign of the land are the people of Kenya. And already, if you if you get the euphoria that uh, I mean that uh, related to uh, the president's announcement, for the f uh, just to add that, that this is one of the very few studying ovations we have had, uh, not only in this country, yes. even in many other countries of the world on matters of corruption. It is in, it, it in itself its history. Mm -hmm. What that means is that the president is basically committing, uh, I mean, walking to uh, in two parts mm -hmm. or putting the, the war on corruption on two steel the kills. Right. The, fa the first one is uh, the, the formal judicial process where he has the capacity to get people to go through the judicial process to be cleansed. Mm -hmm. He's doing that and that is the executive. For the other arms, he's telling the people concerned, do your part. If you don't do, the public is watching you. Mm -hmm. So judiciary, parliament, the governors, the president doesn't have to push them. The people of Kenya have had and I have known who has been mentioned. Okay. Uh, yeah. Right. We are out of time, Professor Peter Kagwanja. So. Thank you so much uh, for your thoughts on this matter. Mm -hmm. And indeed, thank you very much for joining us on Citizen Weekend. Let's move on with other uh, stories of the day.